have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth about the truth. How many times have we heard of stories where witnesses, sorry, where former witnesses were trying to wake up their spouse, their brother, their mother, their sister, their child, their grandparents, their grandchildren. How many stories have we heard where people were wide awake? They done their research and they realized, they realized that this is not the truth. No, this is not it. So they want to share the so-called good news with their family and friends. And eight times out of 10, that backfires. Now, I heard of a few stories, a few stories where the entire family had woken up altogether. One person related a message to, to their family members, right? They encouraged their family members to do their research and they woke up as a group, as a whole, right? But most times when people wake up, they lose their spouse, they lose their brother, they lose their mother, they lose their sister, they lose, they lose their father, they lose their grandparents, they lose a close friend, right? That happens the majority of the time. The majority of the time. Um, Philippians 4.13 says, I can do all things through him. He is the one that has strengthened me, right? And once again, that's Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through him who has strengthened me. Now, I personally believe that God has strengthened me in my awakening from the cult of Jehovah's Witnesses, right? Since I've awoken... I said, you know what? I have one or two, one of two options. I can either keep my mouth shut and keep my so-called JW family and friends. Or I can let my voice be heard and encourage them to do their research and encourage them to leave this religion, this cult, right? Excuse me, got the hiccups. <laughs> but, sorry, excuse me. But I said I can either encourage them to do their research or I can keep my mouth shut, right? But when you think about it, our Jehovah's Witness family and f friends, right? <laughs> but our family and friends, they are indoctrinated to the highest degree. And I said to myself, if I were to give up on them, right, I would be no different from them. And as I said it in my previous videos, especially my last video, how Jehovah's Witnesses, they pretty much condone hate. I don't want to mimic them. I want to be better than that, right? Because when they wake up, I want to show them that, hey, guys, there's a whole world outside of this cult, and guess what? This world is not as bad and wicked as you think it is. It's not. It's not. Because I met plenty of people outside of the cult that have loved me for who I am. And this is, I met people in different countries that truly, genuinely love me for who I am. So people need to know that there is life outside of the Watchtower, right? They have, to, they, have, they have to know this. But um, going back to the scripture, um, Galatians 4.16. So then, have I become your enemy? Have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Jehovah's Witnesses, they don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear the truth about the truth. All they want to hear is things that make their fantasy world a bit more um, pleasantful, right? They want to hear things that, that's in harmony with what they believe in. 
But that is not the reality. That's not the reality. And I'm not here to put I'm not here to, to, to put anyone's mind at ease. So if you are Jehovah's Witness watching this, and if you truly believe that a paradise earth is going to come, all I have to tell you is to do your research because they've been saying that for over 100 years. So if you feel like you have 100 years to spare as a Jehovah's Witness watching this video, right? If you feel like you have 100 years to spare, by all means, be my guest. Wait, in, wait wait, another 50 plus years for a paradise earth that's not going to happen because one man, Charles Russell, he came up with that idea. And there is no legit proof that that paradise is bound to happen, right? But that's for you to do your own research, right? That's for you to do your own research. I'm simply here to tell you guys that... um. Once again, Galatians 4.16. So then, have I come here? Sorry. Galatians 4.16 says, So then, have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? And I'm making this video simply to tell, to tell Jehovah's Witnesses the truth about the truth. I've tried waking up my family. I tried waking up my JW friends. It has all backfired, right? But here's the thing about the truth. When you tell people the truth, right? You can never go wrong. Now, there's been plenty of times in my past, especially, hold on, this is a perfect, this is a personal experience. Just last year, 2023, right? Last year in 2023, I did something I've never, ever done before. Never done before, right? I put myself out there in a dating sense, in a dating realm, right? In a dating sense, the dating world. I put myself out there. I, for the first time in my life, I approached women that I knew they weren't interested in me, right? But I did it for me. I told them, hey, you are extremely, you're a beautiful person. Hope you have a great day, whatever, blah, 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 right? But I let people know exactly how I felt. I went on dates last year, right? I was my true, real, authentic self. And here's a perfect, here's a perfect story. So one of the dates I went on last year, Met up with this lady, right? We were talking for five and a half, six hours. Nothing sexual happened, right? At the end of the day, we made out. We had a you know a little mm, smooshy kissy kissy, right? <laughs> but nothing progressed after that. And then when she went back home the next day, and mind you, I'm thinking in my mind, I'm thinking that oh, this is we had a good time. We were, li we were literally just talking for nearly six hours, right? Nothing sexual happened. Besides the kiss, we, we, we made out. But besides that, nothing sexual happened, right? But I'm thinking, oh, shit. This girl, she, she could tolerate me for six hours. We had a we had a heart to heart conversation. I was telling her personal things about me. She was telling me things, personal things about her, right? For six hours. And the next day, she went home and she said, Oh, you know what? I had a good time with you. We had a good conversation and everything. But I didn't feel any romantic chemistry with you. And I had to swallow my pride. Even though it hurt it. I had to swallow my pride, right? It is what it is. But I mentioned that to say that she was telling me the truth. At that time, I didn't want to hear it because it hurted my feelings. When you're talking to somebody for six hours and we, me and her were literally talking about every different aspect of life. Dating, sex, marriage, mental illness. 
our favorite foods, favorite colors, everything for six hours, right? We talk about everything. Just for her to tell me, oh, you know what? Mm, you're a nice guy and all. We had a good conversation and all, but I didn't feel the romantic chemistry. That hurted me. That hurted me. But I'd rather for her to be honest and upfront than for her to lead me on, right? So the truth hurts, right? And the truth hurts. But going back to the theme of this video, right? Galatians 4.16. So then, have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? A lot of us, we, we want to hear the truth, right? We want the truth. But when we actually hear the truth, we can't fathom it. Most people don't want to hear the truth. Sorry, so some people do want to hear the truth, right? But when they actually do hear the truth... Oh, shit. Sorry. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> but when they actually do hear the truth, it's not the truth that they wanted to hear. Let that sink in. It's not the truth that they wanted to hear. When people hear the truth, it's not the truth that they wanted to hear. So likewise, when I mention my JW family and friends, when I'm, I'm, I'm talking, I'm telling them, guys, do your research. This is not the truth. They automatically, automatically put up this wall. Whoa, you're speaking negative about this religion. We don't want to hear this. Even though I was speaking the truth, it wasn't the truth that they wanted to hear. Because Jehovah's Witnesses, all they want to hear is the constant lies. The constant lies. That's going to keep them going in this religion. That's going to keep them running on this hamster wheel. That's going to keep them brainwashed. That's all they want to hear. They don't want to hear. They don't, they, Jehovah's Witnesses don't want to hear the actual truth. All they want to hear is the lies that's going to make their fantasy world come true. And we know it's not going to come true, right? We know it's not going to come true. But once again, going back to that scripture, Galatians 4, 16. So then, have I become your enemy? Am I your enemy? Because I'm simply telling you the truth about the truth. I'm the bad guy, right? And when I came out as full-blown apostate, all my JW family and friends, they shunned me. They blocked me. They unfriended me right away. Right away. And as always, you guys know I am always 100% honest with you guys, right? So when I say that, when that happened, right? When my mom told me, don't talk to me ever again, my, b b both of my brothers blocked me. I had, I had friends, sorry, former friends and the former friends and the Jehovah's Witness organization that I've known for 15, 20 plus years. And I'm, I'm here coming out full blown apostate. I'm, I'm encouraging everybody to do their research because this is not it. This is not the true religion. Do your research. So when you say something like that, that goes against their religious beliefs, of course, they're going to shun you. Of course, they're going to block you. Because a Jehovah's Witness, the typical Jehovah's Witness, they are not open-minded. All they want to hear is the lies that's going to keep them going in this religion. That's all they want to hear is their, their lies. They don't want to hear the truth about the truth. They don't care about that. All they want to hear is their own lies that's going to keep them going. If that makes sense. But you bring out a scripture. Like Galatians 4, 16. So then, and that scripture says, so then, have I become your enemy? Because I'm telling you the truth. You would think that if a witness, a Christian, someone that believes in Christ, someone that believes in hearing the actual truth, the actual truth, and you read them that scripture, I'm telling them, and that's but by, by relating that scripture, I'm telling them, guys, I'm here. To, I'm here to show you the truth about the truth. And now I'm your enemy. You guys despise me. 
You guys shun me? You guys don't want you, you don't want to talk to me anymore because I'm here to tell you the truth about the truth? I'm now a bad guy? I'm now ruined. I'm not run by Satan the devil because I'm here to tell you the truth about the truth? You don't want to talk to me anymore because I'm telling you the truth about the truth. And now here you are prepared to shun me. But the guys, the men that you are devoting your entire life to. You don't, you don't know these guys from a hole in the wall. But you are ready to shun me for them. Hmm. And now I'm, I, am, I am your enemy because I am encouraging you to do your own research. Now I am the bad guy, right? That is how it is when you leave this cult, unfortunately. But um, once again, Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through him who strengthened me. That is why I am able to make this video. Because I truly believe in God. This world is messed up. It's a horrible world, world, right? It's a horrible world. But I still believe in God. I still believe in a higher power. I still believe in a, I still believe in a creator, right? But um, going back to Galatians four sixteen. So then, have I become your enemy, because I tell you the truth? If you are a Jehovah's Witness watching this, can you honestly say that your governing body leaders have told you the truth about the truth? They even say we're not inspired by God. We are infallible. We make mistakes. So if they make mistakes, then why are Jehovah's Witnesses around the whole world devoting their entire lives to this organization? When the leaders are telling them we are not that the, the leaders are telling them we are infallible, we make mistakes, we are not inspired by God. If the leaders say that to them, why are Jehovah's Witnesses still worshipping these men? I don't get it. I really don't get it. But if you are a Jehovah's Witness watching this, I am not your enemy. I am making this video because I love you guys. Because I was once trapped i was once lost in the source i was once indoctrinated so i get it trust me i get it and thousands upon thousands of witnesses are bound to wake up in due time when the time is right you are bound to wake up but know that when you do wake up us xjw's we are not your enemies we're not here to spread apostate lies. We are here simply to tell you the truth about the truth. We love you guys. Surprise! I am an apostate. I am, a, I am an ex-Jehovah's Witness. Telling you that I love Jehovah's Witnesses. Let that sink in. Let that sink in. I love Jehovah's, I love Jehovah's Witnesses just like I love everybody on this planet. Let that sink in. We're not your enemies. So when you read the scripture, Galatians 4 16, that says, So then, have I become your enemy? Because I'm simply telling you the truth about the truth, right? Have I become your enemy? Because I'm telling you the truth. Know that I am making this video from the heart. Know that I care about you. Know that all XJWs, all ex-former members, we care about you. That's why we make videos to help you guys do your own research and wake up. You don't have to listen to us. Just because I tell you, oh, this is not the truth. I don't expect you to listen to me. I expect you to do your own research and verify for your own self. So then you can decipher for your own self if what you believe in is the actual truth or not. That's all I'm here to do. Because I don't want anyone to waste their entire life waiting for a pipe dream that's never going to happen. 
You should not have to do that. You should not have to do that. Instead, you can do your research right here and right now. And that is why I am making this video. That is why all these ex Jehovah's Witnesses around the world, we are making these videos to help you guys wake up. Because we love you guys. We love the Jehovah's Witnesses. I am a full-blown apostate, a full-blown XJW, right? I would never go back to the, never go back to the religion, never. You couldn't pay me to go back to that. You could not pay me to go back to that religion. You couldn't pay me. But I still have love for Jehovah's Witnesses. So if you happen to be a Jehovah's Witness that's curious, if you happen to be a Jehovah's Witness that has doubts, guess what? I'm telling you, as an ex-witness at XJW, do your own research. Do your own research, and you will see that this is not the truth. I love you guys. Do your own research, and I will see you guys on the next video. Take care.